starting my own practice? Well, um, it's um, kind of a long story, but um, basically I, I was working for some other smaller firms. And um, one thing that a lot of people don't tell law students about, or people don't know in general, is that there is that bimodal income distribution for people with JDs, okay? Because uh, a huge number of people, especially graduating these days, especially from lower tier law schools, um, they never even start out as attorneys in the first place because there aren't enough jobs. Not everybody's gonna get some high powered corporate law gig straight out of law school, you know, making $160,000, $180,000 to start. That's just a pipe dream for the vast majority of law students. And I went to a top tier of law school, I guess maybe Georgetown is like number 14 in the country. But um, like 90% of the class, I was not in the top 10%. I wasn't even in the top 20% of my graduating class. We had so many smart people, a lot of people who had gone to Ivy League undergrads really brilliant people, kids who came from very privileged family backgrounds. I remember being surprised when we had these public interest organization auctions and some of those classmates of mine would be bidding thousands and thousands of dollars for um, whatever it could be, like sports tickets or something, you know, because, you know, the fact is, is that when you go to um, a private school for law school, a lot of the kids do come from um, privileged backgrounds. So um, starting out of the gate, um, I did not have my top choice of, um, of job options. And I had worked for some public defender's offices. I was thinking about going into criminal defense and working for either a public defender's office or a DA's office. but. Um, those offices that I was interested in would not hire people until after you pass the bar exam. So I just went ahead and started applying for all sorts of jobs that were um, listed through the career services and ended up working for a small firm in Northern Virginia near the Tyson's Corner area. So um, working was a big shock to me because I hadn't really worked a full-time career type job before going to law school. And it was kind of depressing, actually, you know, to realize, okay, I worked so hard and now here I am, I'm sitting at a desk all day, being barked at by a partner, um, just drowning in paperwork and phone calls and um, drafting things. But um, the positive side was that since I worked for such a small practice, I did have a lot of client contact. I got to go to court and sit in on all sorts of client meetings and depositions and mediations and arbitrations. So um, I did get a really good learning experience, but the pay was nothing like what I had thought it would be. Um, in fact, you know, some people out there might be shocked to hear that my starting pay was less than $30,000 to start, plus a percentage of the, the income that uh, that I generated from the cases that I primarily handled. So it, it wasn't like a really flashy job. I did learn a lot though, but as I mentioned before, it was a little depressing to get out in the working world and realize that, okay, great, every day I'm getting home right around 8 o'clock p.m. I'm exhausted, got to fix some food, maybe try to go grocery shopping, do your laundry, get some sleep, you know, do your personal emails, personal phone calls, and then wake up early the next morning to commute to work and do it all over again, day after day after day. So I um, wound up in North Carolina because of my ex-husband's job, and um, the positive thing was that I did have relatives that already lived here and were able to introduce me to people and um, get me acclimated to this place. It, it was really hard trying to find a good job around here, not having any connections or any law school alumni to fall back on. And um, after working for some other people for a number of years, I, I felt like I could do a really good job and probably make more money. And so I decided to take that leap 14 years ago, and here I am now. I'm still in business. Um, I've seen a lot of other um, friends and colleagues who tried to be solo or tried to have their own law firms and um, 
soon realized that it is really hard to make a buck and our legal community here is quite saturated. There are so many people graduating from law schools. You know, in North Carolina, we have NC Central, we have Elon, Wake Forest, UNC, we have Duke, but most of the Duke law grads do not stay in North Carolina after they graduate. We have Campbell. What else am I missing? Well, Charlotte School of Law uh, shut down, so I think that was a good thing. Um, I think I've covered it, but um, you have all these law schools generating more and more JDs every single year, and there's just not that job market available for them. And I fear that in this day and age of COVID-19, that there's even less business and um, fewer job opportunities to go around for people that are just graduating now with their law degrees. And then, of course, you have people like me who are coming from out of state who are also fighting for those same precious jobs. So it is a tough job market out there. If anybody wants to discuss that later, then maybe I'll make another video about that.